All right, stop, stop, no, get, stop, no, nope, don't do that, stop, nope, 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 not the same. Mr. Porkers, where's Bessie? What the? No. Bessie, what are you doing down there? Well, guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, today, I'm joined with Mr. Porkers and very, very tiny Bessie. And I'm sure you guys could probably tell, today we're going to be checking out a pretty amazing Minecraft mod, which allows you to grow and also shrink very, very tiny. All right, Bessie, don't worry. All right, she's crying a little bit. Let me just uh, fix her up here. But yeah, guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to actually craft Ant-Man and also the Wasp in your Minecraft world in order to basically turn into, like, really, really tiny creatures that are super powerful. So, yeah, let me just uh, fix Bessie. There you go, Bessie. Welcome back. Now, guys, first things first, before I get into any of the crazy stuff today, we have to go check out the comments of the day, which come from KP Beats, Katria, Louis A, Jessica E, all wanted to see the Ant-Man and the Wasp mod. Now, guys, if you do want to see some more superheroes in Minecraft, please leave a like on today's video. Let's aim for something crazy. Let's go for, like, 2,000 likes for more superheroes. That'd be super amazing. There's still a ton I have left to check out. But, guys, also Ant-Man and the Wasp is coming out in theaters soon. So, if you are going to see it, comment Ant-Man down below. But, yeah, guys, if you do want to be featured, like these beautiful people, just leave a like, subscribe, tap the bell to turn on notifications, and last but not least, comment any other superheroes or mods or any mod battles that you want to see down below in the comment section. But anyway, Bessie, don't shrink again. All right, guys, so in this chest, we have the Ant-Man suit of armor. Now, this thing is pretty difficult to craft. I'm going to quickly show you, but if you do want to like full craft recipe, definitely check the uh, mod page down below. But basically, you need some, you know, ant antennas, you need a filter, lots of silver plates, uh, some redstone glass for the eyes. We also need some intertium plates. And the main thing you're going to need is uh, this bad boy, the regulator, which is uh, just a whole crap ton of stuff. But yeah, here are the leggings right here. Just a lot of different ores that you can find in your Minecraft world once you have this mod installed. But yeah, lots of silver, lots of intertium. But the main thing I need is this regulator right here which basically allows you to shrink and also get really, really big. So yeah, guys, let me grab this entire suit of armor, and also let's grab some bone meal, some redstone, my regulator, and also some of these pin particle tanks. Now, once you do put on the armor, I mean, you're gonna look pretty dang cool. You know, all, all, the, all the cool kids will be like, yo, where'd you get that cool armor from? And you can tell them, you know, you crafted it yourself. But yeah, there are some cool things that you can do with it, like this right here, where I can actually control what size I'm gonna be. Now, you can see in here, once you actually do craft it, you will have the regulator already installed. But basically, you can go really, really tiny, and it'll give you, like, a little overview. Or you can get really, really big. So, yeah, let's just try to shrink down to half my size. So, once you're done in here, basically, you hit save. And then you should be able to uh, hit some sort of button in order to transform. 12 seconds later. Wait a second. Wait a second. Best just reminded me we have to uh, actually fill up our suit of armor. So yeah, we have to take off the chest plate, which is actually what you need in order to fill it up with the shrink and grow particles. So in here, uh, this bad boy is the pim particle producer. We also have the pim workbench over here. So there's a ton of different scientific stuff that you're probably going to need to figure out. Once you have this bad boy, you need some glowstone, some ender pearls, some coal, lots of water and stuff. But if you want to make grow particles, you put in some bone meal, and it'll start filling up your grow particles, or you put in some redstone in order to shrink down. But yeah, guys, I already have a little bit in here, so basically, if you want to fill it up, you just place the chest plate in that side, and you can see it starts filling up, and then you can put in some grow particles on the right side. But because I am a Minecraft wizard, obviously, I have a creative mode only one. So this bad boy right here pretty much uh, means I have infinite pim particles. So now it should work where I can grow and then shrink down. All right, so let's say I, I kind of forget which button I made it. Okay, it's one of these buttons right here. Oh, there we go. Okay, I made mine G, but I'm not entirely sure what it's going to be. But yeah, now we are literally a tiny little dwarf. We are only one block tall. And also, we are super powerful. So let me go see if I can find... Oh, okay, so we also have ants in this mod as well. But let me just go see if I punch this pig... That did four attack damage. Now, also in the top left, it will show you your pin particle levels, just so you know you don't get stuck in one form. 
But yeah, we don't need that for right now because I have infinite. But yeah, we should be able to easily kill mobs now that I am a superhero in Minecraft. All right, now I'm curious. Let's get all the way down. So the smallest you can go is 0.11. So you hit save, hit G, it'll reset. And we should just shrink all the way down, bro. This is insane. Anyway, let's see how fast they're... Oh my gosh, bro, it's literally just bobbing everywhere. All right, now also we have ants, which once you're actually super tiny, you can just right click on any ant that you find, and then you should be able to ride on the ant, bro. This is awesome. So yeah, now we are on a tiny little carpenter ant, and I think it can fly as well. Buddy, can you fly for me? Please, come on, man. Stick a little ant. All right, I don't know why the ant didn't fly for me, but we also have a bullet ant, which if I go over here, tame this bad boy. This thing is also super cool. I mean, it's not as cool as the carpenter ant, but yeah, you can still run around on this thing, and it's just a cool little, like, almost a horse, but, you know, in ant formation. But yeah, guys, as you can see, we are super tiny. Now, I do want to test out what happens when I get super huge. All right, so let's make it super big times 10. So we'll save that. Hit G, we'll go back to normal size. And then now, here we go. Times 10, boys. Bam. We, oh, my gosh, bro. That is crazy. I think, yeah, I am as tall as my entire house. Hey, Bessie, how's it going? Whoa! Okay, wait, I don't want to accidentally crush Bessie. All right, let's try and crush the sheep. Whoa! Okay, I don't think it acts. Okay, I don't damage anything. Can I even? I'm too tall to even reach that sheep. I mean, the coolest thing about this is that I can jump really high, but that is honestly really it. I can jump on top of my house. Then I can, I guess, shrink back down if I wanted to. Wait, wait, let's see. Do I take fall damage? Uh, ah, what the? Yo, that's, okay, that's not good. So you definitely have to be careful with your different sizes. But Bessie also has some mobs for me to take down today. So we have some silverfish, some slimes, some zombie pigment, and some creepers. Now, the one thing that I didn't show you guys yet is that you can actually use grow this and shrink this on other mobs. Stretch said I just wanted a giant ant in my world. Oh my goodness, bro. So yeah, we can change our ants around too if we really wanted to. And it works on any single mob. So if I wanted Bessie to be absolutely massive. Okay, uh, that's kind of too big. Hey, Bessie, how's it going, dude? That is insane. All right, Bessie, you are now a boss cow. If you see any fake Bessies, just uh, go take them out. You have my 100% permission. All right, but let's test it on some other mobs real quick. So we have some silverfish. Okay, we're in peaceful mode. All right, let's try to scan. We have a silverfish, so we can shrink it down if we wanted to, dude. And it could still hit me. Now I don't. Oh, what the? My my ants are. Dude, my ants actually fight for me. Good job, little bullet ant. Oh, that's so good. All right, now I don't know if uh, the ants get like weaker when they're tinier, but let's uh, see. Let's shrink down to his size and see what it looks like. All right, there we go. What's up, little silverfish buddy? Oh my gosh, he's so tiny. All right, let's take him out, bam. That's right, get wrecked, silverfish. What the heck? All right, he like doesn't take as much damage, which is kind of weird, but yeah, it also can go in the other direction. So if I do a silverfish and I use the grow disc on him, bro. Wait, can I ride on his back? Come on, let me, oh my gosh, I can't ride on him. Well, but, uh, okay, my, my aunt just uh, easily took him out. But yeah, guys, uh, we also have some other mobs. So let's just take out the rest of the silverfish right here. Go ahead, Mr. Ants. Oh my gosh. I love having an ant army in Minecraft. All right, there you go. Go ahead, buddy. Yeah, there you go. Take him out. No, dude, he's killing me. Good boy, Mr. Ant. Okay, Bessie. I'm just making sure that she's okay over there. She's probably still trying to figure out how to be a giant cow. We also have slimes, which is kind of weird because they come in different sizes. If I make a giant slime, let's see. Wait, oh, oh my gosh, he just got massive. Oh, but my, okay, my ant easily took him out. But yeah, we also have, I'm curious how a creeper's gonna be. Okay, okay, give me one, no, 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 don't blow up yet. Don't blow up. All right, let's make a nice tiny creeper. Oh, what's up, little guy? Now, I wonder if his explosion is still the same. All right, there we go. Hi, buddy. Ah, <laughs> he didn't even explode. Ow, dude, just slimes after me. Bam, that's right, get right, boom. All right, I think I also get like super powerful strength when I am Ant-Man just because I'm tiny, but I still have like the strength of a full-size human being. All right, there we go. Good job, Ant Army. But yeah, that was so cool. Now let's uh, run away and let's make a giant creeper. Burr, burr, no, no. Can I do it twice? Okay, no, they only work one time. But dude, I don't want to be near this thing. No, oh, no, 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 please don't explode. Come this way. Come on, buddy. Here you go. Have some pork chops. Uh, Ant Army, we have a small problem. This guy is absolutely massive and he's going to cause an avalanche. Okay, I actually think the explosion wasn't that bad. 
Now, the last one we have to test out is Zombie Pigman. Before, I do want to go to the end dimension and see what that's like with the Ender Dragon. But let's spawn in all five of these things and test out how powerful this armor is. So let's make uh, some small ones right here. We'll make two small ones. We'll make some bigger ones. And then we'll leave one the same just to kind of compare. All right, let's see what dude. This is insane. All right, Betsy. Oh my gosh, we have a little tiny one. All right, let's attack the normal one. Bam! Okay, there we go. Bro. This is crazy. These things look absolutely massive. Now, wait a second. If I go into huge size. All right, wait, let's do it. Bam. Okay, normal size. Huge size. Oh, what's up, little dudes? Bam. Okay. I I'm still too tall, bro. I'm like a giant T-Rex. All right, all right. They don't really do that much damage to me just because his armor is way too overpowered. But let's shape back down to normal size. So, yeah, this is how they look when they're like normal giant zombies. And then let's shrink that one more time and just take them out. All right, let's see. How much damage do I do? I only do two attack damage, bro. That's kind of bad. All right, you guys really honestly can't even damage me because I am way too good at this game. That's right, dude. Get wrecked in the face. Oh, my gosh, dude. You literally stepped all over me. All right, there we go. Bam. Oh, we have the little guys, too. I forgot about these little dudes. That's right, dude. Get back out of here. All right, I took down the giant zombies as well. No, no, no. Not today, man. Not today. Where are the little guys? Hello? Can you guys all oh, four dudes? They can't even jump up blocks. All right, let's uh, recruit this ant over here. All right, buddy. Into battle we go. Bam. Oh, they just destroyed my ant. All right, stop. Stop. No, get. Stop. No, nope, don't do that. Stop. Nope. 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 Not today. Oh, my gosh. They're barely taking any damage. They're also not very smart because I've been sitting here for like five minutes just punching them in the face. All right, guys. I recruited this giant ant to help me out. Go ahead, Mr. Ant. Go ahead. Get him. All right, there we go. The giant ant is going to take down the rest of them. Okay, dude, seriously, man. Stop it. You have a sword. I don't have a sword, man. All right, enough of this nonsense. Get the flip out of here, man. All right, do I do more damage now? Come on, stop it. No, 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 no. Not today. Stop it, dude. Seriously, these things are so annoying. All right, guys. So I don't know how to take those things down. But the last thing I do want to show you before we switch over to the wasp and check out the uh, ender dragon is the fact that I can go in here, take off my regulator, in order to go into the quantum realm. Now, I don't recommend doing this because I don't really know how to get back out. So let's make sure. Okay, we're good to go. Hit save. And the next time we uh, transform, we should just go into the quantum realm. We should shrink down now all the way into the quantum realm. So yeah, guys, uh, don't recommend doing this. Don't try this at home. Okay, let your younger brother or sister do it first so that you know it's safe. But yeah, okay. Oh my gosh, dude, it's so dark in here. All right, now, I do just want to quickly check it out in game mode one, dude. This is crazy. So you kind of just float around in here. And also, apparently, there's some chests where you can find some stuff. So yeah, this thing right here, I believe, is some sort of chest system. Now, let's just fly around in creative mode. So yeah, you can actually find stuff from this mod if you really want to. But I'm kind of curious. Is there, like, an end to this? So I see, like, some stuff down there. I don't know if that's the end of the dimension, though. Now, in order to get out of here, I think you just put back on the regulator and then go back to normal size. So, I uh, don't know. Maybe, no, it's save. And then let's try and shrink. Okay, maybe if I uh, grow all the way to huge size. All right, let's try that, maybe. All right, guys. Well, I think we're stuck. Maybe if I go in here and just put in a grow disc, maybe that'll work a little bit. All right, let's try. Oh, there we go. All right, so you need a grow disc in order to get out of there. But now I can only grow bigger and bigger. All right, so let's take that off. Put back on the regulator. And let's shrink back down to our, you know, regular tiny little Ant-Man size. And now let's go over here and check out the wasp. Gosh dang it, Bessie, you're still massive. All right, so let's see. Yeah, I can still open up chests. I was a little bit curious about that. But yeah, now let's check out the wasp, who I really haven't done a lot with before. So let's throw this on. And I mean, we're still super tiny. Oh, that's pretty dang cool. And also, you yeah, look at that. I can fly around. Awesome. So, yeah, now I should be able to go into the end dimension and just easily take out the Ender Dragon. Or at least, I kind of hope so. Well, guys, here we go. I have built it, and we also have the ant that, uh, I don't know if you're going to join me or not. But let's plop in to the dimension. All right, boys, here we go. Let's see if we can take out the Ender Dragon. All right, so we have our sword at the ready. What's up, Mr. Ender Dragon? How's it going, man? Oh, wait. Oh, dude, I kind of want to try this. Bam! Giant Ender Dragon! Oh, no, 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 not doing that today. Bro, that is so cool. All right, let's see if I can use it on the Ender Dragon himself. I want to make a giant Ender Dragon. I don't think it's going to work, but I am kind of curious. All right, let's see. Bam! Okay, no, 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 that definitely didn't work. 
Come here, buddy. It's gonna be okay. I, I got you, buddy. Bam! Okay, nope. It does not work on the Ender Dragon. Gosh dang it. I mean, it does work on all these stinking mobs, too, so I can make some uh, nice tiny Endermen. Maybe what about a tiny Ender Dragon? Nope. Uh, okay, that really stinks. All right, so I guess we can still go through with the plan. We have the Wasp against the Ender Dragon. All right, so let's take these things out nice and quick, and then hopefully I do a lot of damage against this dude. All right, we're at the last one right over here. All right, I haven't looked at any Endermen. We still have a couple giant ones. All right, let's chase this dude. All right, he's a lot quicker than me. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Whoa, dude, I do a lot of damage. I already just did 30 damage with only a couple hits. All right, come here, buddy. I'm sorry I got to do this. It's the Wasp versus the Ender Dragon. And also this giant Enderman. Stop running away, bro. You know you're going to die. I mean, he is quicker than me. But, I mean, I can fly around. I could easily just sting him in the butt. And then, bam, he's going to die. Except he just keeps running. Stop it, please. Come on, dude. Just make this easy. You know, if you just stay still, I can take you out. I can end off the video. I can do a couple cartwheels while I'm at it. But no, you just gotta, you know, just be a nutcake and then not allow me to eat my cookies. All right, guys, I can indeed confirm it is very easy to take out the Ender Dragon when you are a superhero in Minecraft. But yeah, guys, I think that is going to wrap it up for today's video. Be sure to go comment down below if you are going to go see the movie in theaters. Hashtag Ant-Man or something like that. Also, be sure to leave a like if you do want to see some more superheroes. But anyway, dudes, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed. My name is Beckbro Wasp, and I will see you guys all next time. Peace out, dudes.